we were discussing alternate source of energy so we have discussed uh, biodiesel fuel cells etc right so whatever it is fuel cells cannot store energy so until and unless we supply the chemical fuels we cannot withdraw the energy so we are supposed to depend upon renewable source of energy so renewable source of energy is the alternate source for our fossil fuels so what are renewable source of energy what are different types of renewable source of energy we have we have solar energy we have wind energy we have geothermal energy uh, we have tidal energy isn't it so but the main source of renewable energy is solar energy so solar energy can be converted into usable form it might be electrical energy or directly the heat energy so the devices which are used to convert solar energy into electrical energy are called as photovoltaic cells so today in our discussion let us discuss let us see what are those devices and what are the importance of that the applications of those pv cells and the construction and working of those photovoltaic cells or so called pv cells our pv cells will look like this so these are pv cells the small part is called as a module so if two or more modules will form a i mean the one small cell small part is called one small square is called as a cell two or more cells connected either in series or parallel will call as a module two or more modules connected in series or parallel this entire block is called as a panel so this one thing plate is called as a panel and this all these panels put together this is called as an array okay so arrays are usually used for large scale energy production so what are these photovoltaic cells so photovoltaic cells are the devices which converts light energy into electrical energy so these are also known as pv cells solar cells right so photovoltaic cells are uh, i mean they are usually called as pv cells or solar cells so how is that energy is converted you know that light is made up of photons so this photons carries some mass some energy in that so that energy which is uh, carried by these photons is con converted into electrical energy or electricity by this pv cells or solar cells so how does it convert we'll see that later so before that we'll see the importance technical importance of photovoltaic cells or the some of the uh, applications of this pv cells so pv cells are eco friendly right so pv cells are eco friendly because there no chemical reactions occurs no redox reactions no reactions occur here so they are eco eco friendly sunlight strikes and it will be converted into electrical energy so as as long as sunlight is falling on a pv cell it will we can withdraw the electricity once sunlight stops we can no more withdraw so what reaction occurs there we'll see that later okay how energy transformation that is only energy transformation no reactions there so light energy is converted into heat energy or electrical energy or some type of energy only energy transformation occurs but there is no reactions there so therefore it is eco friendly so pv cells are the main source of energy power in spacecrafts and satellites right so spacecrafts work when those those need electricity right so above the atmosphere where we don't have electricity no batteries can be carried so there 24 bar 7 sunlight will shine so our spacecraft satellites completely depend upon our pv cells so almost you can see entire bangalore region every signal is powered by uh, solar panels right so solar uh, railway signals road signals street lights everything is uh, we can use our uh, pv cells so the main source of uh, other main uh, import, uh, application is uh, the main source of power in the remote areas like forest is the uh, pv cells so pv cells are also used in roof integrated uh, power systems so instead of using rooftop you can use the solar panels where whatever energy is obtained that can be used for the house purpose itself so your pv cells do not contain any moving parts since there is no problem for wear and tear so pv cells generate electrical energy at ambient temperature and photovoltaic cells can also used as roof integrated system preventing the heating of the roof in the summer so the raw materials used in the pv cells is nothing but silicon it is abundantly available available so even though it is abundantly available it is costly why it is costly we'll discuss in our next uh, topic okay so as discussed they are uh, used in the transportation system they are used in domestic appliances they are used in traffic lights they are used in scientific calculators they are used in watches they are used in agriculture machines they are used in spacecrafts they are used in automobiles so these are the importance of our pv cells so now let us see the construction and working of the pv cells 
So PV cells will act as a semiconductor device. So this is the metallic grid whatever you see here. This metallic grid will form one of the electrical contact and allow light to fall on this on the PN junction. This is PN junction. This is P type and this is N type. So allows light to fall on the semiconductor. So in between the grid lines, we are going to coat a anti-reflective layer. A layer. So we are going to coat an anti-reflective layer because whatever light falls on the uh, this the solar panel entire light should be converted into electricity it should not get reflected therefore we're going to put anti-reflective layer so what is the anti-reflective layer made up of it is made up of silver nitride so silver nitride will be coated in between the grid lines so the other electrical contact is nothing but the metallic layer the metallic layer which is here this is this forms the another metallic layer so the light radiation forms on the pn junction so this is n type and this is p type and the light radiation falls on the pn junction electron hole pairs will be generated here at the pn junction electron hole pairs will be generated at the uh, pn junction so you know that n type is rich in electrons so all the electrons will drift towards the uh, n type and holes will drift towards the p type so when we connect uh, when two ends of the pv cell are connected to a uh, external uh, electrically we can see the flow of current here and that current uh, sorry and this current is called as what pv current or photovoltaic current so you can see this this end is connected and this end is also connected so whatever current is flowing here this is called as pv photovoltaic current or pv current so let us see a small video how the uh, photo i mean uh, solar energy is generated the most commonly used renewable energy source is solar energy but how is solar energy used to generate electricity a photovoltaic or pv system is used to convert the solar or light energy into electrical energy the basic component of the pv system is known as the solar cell a single solar cell has the capacity of producing about 0.5 volts of electricity a solar panel or solar module is the combination of several solar cells connected in series to generate usable voltage. The solar panel voltage can be increased by increasing the number of solar cells. For example, 30 solar cells connected in series will produce an output of 15 volts. A combination of solar panels connected together is known as solar array and can be used to achieve required current and voltage. This is used for bulk production. How does the solar cell Arrays work? Are used. The generation of electricity on exposure to sunlight is known as the photovoltaic effect. This principle is used by solar cells to produce electricity. The solar cells are made up of semiconductors, mainly silicon, and comprises three layers. The top layer, called the n-type layer, is comparatively thin and contains high concentration of electrons. The bottom layer, called the p-type layer, contains high concentration of holes. When the p-type and the n-type semiconductor is joined, it forms a p-n junction. On forming a p-n junction, the electrons of the n-type material try to reach the p-region, creating a negatively charged layer. Similarly, the holes of the p-type material try to reach the n-region, creating a positively charged layer. This region between the two layers is known as the depletion region of the semiconductor. Sunlight penetrates the top thin layer easily to reach the depletion region. Due to the deficiency of charge in the depletion region, it contains neutral atoms. These neutral atoms are broken when the photons from the sunlight strike the depletion layer. This knocks the electrons from the neutral atoms, leaving behind the holes and producing free charge carriers. Then, the electrons move towards the n-type layer and the holes move towards the p-type layer due to the electric field present in the depletion region. On connecting an electronic circuit, the electrons flow through it generating electricity to electrical devices like bulb, fan, etc. Please this subscribe our channel. PV cells will work. So let us see what are the advantages of your 
PV cells. So since uh, there are no reactions occurring here, so no gases are produced. So they are eco-friendly. So no recharging is required. The parts one time insulation, they do not corrode. Okay. And it operates at low temperature. So no emission, no combustion and uh, it is low operating cost. Okay. So these are the advantages. What are the disadvantages? High installation cost. So it is very costly. Silicon uh, PV cells are costly. So high installation cost and other major disadvantages expected outcome cannot be obtained during cloudy days. So if you are expecting 1.1 volt or 1.5 volts. So uh, but on cloudy days during winter we cannot obtain. And power output or obtaining and Bangalore the same thing cannot be obtained in Uti or Kashmir. Right. So it, it is seasonal. Okay, so that is sunlight, uh, is a diffuse source. Energy can be uh, produced only during daytime and it cannot be produced during uh, nighttime because as once the sunlight stops striking these PV cells, uh, we can no more withdraw the current. So there are no chemical reaction occurring here. Only sunlight, there is only energy transformation. That energy is converted into electrical energy. So there is another small video. So this we can the understand sun. better. The sun. Every day, the sun shines more than 3 trillion watts of free energy on the earth. That's enough energy to power over 3 million homes for an entire year, being produced every day. Solar panels harness the energy and convert it into clean electricity to power our homes, businesses, and lifestyles. Light from the sun stimulates electrons on a solar panel. These electrons create DC, or direct current electricity. Solar electricity travels from the panels on your roof through an inverter to the circuit breaker panel of your building. An so inverter you changes DC, DC right? electricity so DC into electric. usable oh, yes. AC or alternating current electricity before sending it to the breaker this panel of your building. Your home uses that electricity to power the electronic devices we use every day. It's like having your own power plant on your roof with an endless supply of clean energy. Anytime the panels are producing more energy than you are using, like sunny days when you are on vacation, the excess energy is sent back to your utility company where they are required to buy back your excess electricity at the same rates they would normally charge, a concept called net metering. The utility company purchases your excess solar electricity and sells that energy to homes and businesses in your neighborhood. Even homes and businesses that do not have solar panels are still buying your excess solar electricity. When the sun goes down, your home or business purchases electricity from your local utility company the same way it has in the past. However, credits from your excess solar energy produced during the day will offset nighttime charges which are much cheaper than peak daytime rates. This maximizes your savings through time of use billing, where you are selling energy to the utility during daytime peak hours while buying energy during nighttime off peak hours. Instead of buying electricity from a power plant that burns coal and other pollutants, you are taking advantage of the free abundant energy of the sun. As energy rates continue to go up, your system produces clean, renewable energy at no cost to you. Now you get to choose how much to spend on electricity. Imagine if we could do that with gasoline prices. Today, there are some incredible incentives and rebate to help pay for solar installation. Finance programs can help you install panels for as little as $500 down. Increase the value of your home or business by reducing your energy costs. So you can install, if you have a place of 10 by 10, you can install this RS and you can generate energy required to your house. Okay. So in our next uh, discussion, we're going to discuss how to manufacture your PV cells or solar cells. So thank you.